Well, about a year ago, I put out a video on the Graco True Coat 360 VSP paint sprayer. Uh, it's the corded version, and this is uh, this is not obviously this is the TC Pro. Uh, but if you watched that video, you saw me take it apart, ultimately throw it in the trash. The very next day, I went out and I bought this one. So it has been used and abused for a year. But it turns out I'm really good at ruining these things because uh, we get issues and I got parts. So that's the plan for today. I'll show you what it's not doing. We'll take it apart, put a new pump in it. Hopefully that solves the issue. Then if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you what's in the mystery box. Let's get to it. Well, I've got water in here and I've already primed it off camera. Um, but it's, you know, it doesn't seal up real good with water. I've got my selector to spray. I'm just going to turn it upside down to try to get it to spray. It's not going to spray. There's a little ball bearing in there and a spring. I can show you that on the parts breakdown here in a second. But if I depress that, I can get water and paint to come out. And, and I figured that out because I had started to get um, started to have issues cleaning it. Every time I went to clean it, it was just harder and harder and harder to get water to spray through the thing. And finally I wound up, you know, using a little pick to depress that uh, ball valve that's in there. And I assume the pump is too weak to overcome the spring pressure of the valve. Or it could be that the valve is so clogged and there's not actually anything wrong with the pump. So let me show you what those parts look like. That little one right there looks like 36 and 25 is the assembly and the, the ball valve that sits in it. And that is the front part of the new pump, which is, looks like that whole thing is number one. Yeah, kit pump assembly. So this is a, you know, this is official Graco parts. And the, the reason why I went with the whole pump is the whole pump was like 170, 180 bucks. And just this piece in the front was like $90. So I didn't want to do that and then have to buy a pump when you know, if, if, it's, if it's one or the other, I got spare, spare parts, right? Um, so the good thing about this sprayer is it has been beat to hell. Um, I, after taking apart the last one, I, I, I figured I should do a better job at keeping them clean. And for the most part I did, uh, but it also, I'm not the only one that uses it. So it doesn't always get put away correctly. It doesn't always get cleaned correctly, but I did, I, I did make an effort to try and ensure that that happened more consistently with this one versus the last. Um, but I know the last time it was used, it was left with paint in it for days and days because it wouldn't work and it just got set to the side. So it's probably pretty nasty in here. I did use the pump armor religiously. The th one thing I deviated from in the uh, instructions there is that uh, I didn't always store it upright. Sometimes it just got you know tossed wherever. So I don't know that that, that should have killed the thing, but it's a little disappointing that in probably a hundred gallons this pump's already already dead. Troubleshooting that I went through outside of uh, outside of really what's in the troubleshooting guide in the back of the manual, which really isn't all that helpful. I did take these uh, plugs out and, well, I took one of them out to try and, and clean that, um, but they're plastic. They're plastic plugs. That's a plastic Allen key and they strip out I'm like, come on, Graco. Well, that's good to know. It looks like Graco has made this somewhat easy to service because they've got Phillips screws in the in this side and the case is actually split. So you can just lift that one piece right off and everything's right there. Um, I won't, I don't want to move anything, but on this back side, there are other screws, but those are torques. So they're kind of dropping hints like, uh, hey, don't, don't move those. The other thing, big old sticker says, do not rotate gear. So we got the assembly instructions, big old yellow tag says, do not remove, do not rotate the gear and remove this after installing. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess that's uh, pretty important. They got it printed again. Don't move the thing. Okay, so I have pretty much the whole assembly apart and I have a feeling this thing's just like gummed up in it. There we go. 
Boom, just pull it right out. I'm gonna set that little spare part to the side. Get my new one. All right. Now, the notes do say if you have the uh, brushless motor, you use a wrench to hold the motor. And uh, there's also a static wire. I have a feeling that has something to do with the uh, with the oil-based paint, so it's got a grounding plug uh, to ground the motor, stuff like that. So that's all in the instructions. You can read through that yourself. But I'm just going to drop this thing in here, and it says not to remove this tag until it's in place. But I'm having a hard time. Tab is in the way of where it needs to sit. So if I push it down, it's going to force the tab off. But nothing else is hanging it up. It's aligned everywhere else. So I'm just going to go for it. That was satisfying. And it says to hold this down. Pull that off. Alright, I mean, I feel like I didn't move anything. That's it. It's that easy. I'm just going to put it back together. Oh, by the way, I got a brand new container for it too. Uh, that came with a cap. Uh, because why not, right? This was not part of the pump assembly that was sold separately. So, all right, moment of truth here, people. Prime it. Whatever that is, probably a little bit of pump armor left from assembly. Beautiful. All right, let's put some paint in this thing. One other thing I've tried to get better about doing is straining the paint. So I get a little, little hair net there. And I've got some shutters to paint this beautiful green. Isn't that, isn't that lovely? I'm not a fan. But that's all right, because the customer picks the color, right? And the customer is always the customer. And the brand new cup and a brand new pump. Look at that, beautiful. Now maybe my neighbor will stop mowing their lawn long enough for me to shoot a video. Quiet on the set, people. All right, welcome to my state of the art paint booth. It's a little windier than I like today, so I'll try not to get overspray all over me, but for the very first time, we will prime the new pump. I'm gonna squeeze the air out of it. There we go. And then I usually spray it about a six. This is just a latex uh, exterior paint and it's not a uh, thin or anything like that, so. Oh yeah, you can hear the difference. That's better. It's actually probably a little more pressure than I need. So, all right, I'm gonna rock and roll with this. I'm gonna unplug this microphone and get to it. Well, I hope you could see and hear the difference in the TC Pro versus like the 360 VSP. Just night and day difference, like they weren't even made in the same factory and they probably weren't. Now I know that burning sensation that you're feeling is not because you need to see a doctor, but the burning question, would I buy another one of these? Yes, I would, even if it's 750 bucks for the whole package. Would I put another $200 pump in it if it fails after 100 gallons? Yes, I probably still would. Will you get paint on your shirt? Probably, I don't know. Uh, but this thing has made enough money for me that it's worth that investment. Uh, a lot of what we do, we're two, three stories up, sometimes on scaffolding, ladders, dealing with hoses and extension cords is, is not only inconvenient, but it can be kind of dangerous. So 
this is a very specific tool for a very specific purpose and it does a great job at doing that. If you're a homeowner DIY kind of person and, and you're just going to use this thing like once or twice or you want to paint your fence or something, just go rent a piece of equipment and, and be done with it. That this is a, a big investment, you know, five, five, seven hundred dollars maybe um, for something that you're not going to make money with, probably not worth it. Um, I did notice that the tip I have on here is the wrong uh, fan pattern for what I was doing, but still got the job done and I'll shoot some footage of the shutters as they dry. But this thing works great, it does great. Other than the pump failing because of probably my neglect, uh, I don't have any issues with it and I would buy it again. I will be more careful about cleaning it and who I let use it and clean it and how it's stored. I did notice in here that they say to use mineral spirits or warm water to clean it with and I have used rubbing alcohol to clean these things out in the past. Maybe the rubbing alcohol is that um, harmful to the o-rings and the internal components and stuff like that. So maybe don't do that. But otherwise, it's, this little dude's a beast actually. You know what? I think she's earned a badge of honor. We're gonna go with old blue. All right, now for the dangling carrot. What's in the box? So, just in case this didn't work out, and because I am a curious person, did a thing, I bought a backup uh, from the old horrible freight. And um, I did cheat though. I didn't buy their batteries because I don't intend on owning any of the other cordless tools. So I bought a little adapter that makes that thing take a regular DeWalt battery and found that on Amazon. So I'll link all this stuff up and in the next video um, we'll do an unboxing and we'll spray this thing and see how it works. All right, see y'all later.